right, Coach? It's kind of an opening statement about third straight uh, tournament never been done in program history and just the excitement level for you guys getting into the tournament. Yeah, I mean, I'm so proud of this group, honestly. We've grown. We've grown together. We had a lot of new guys again this year. We lost a lot of scoring last year, but we stepped right in and, um, you know, kind of picked up where we left off. I thought we had a great season. I think our, our, our play has been better than our record. So um, this year, even though we do have a good record, I think some of that showed in us making the NCAA tournament. Talk to us about that <clears throat> thrill of making it for the third time in a row. I it. I love program first, and we've done a lot of them over the last three years, and this is just another one of them. So it's a new expectation of the program to come here and make the NCAA tournament, and, and now we've done it three years in a row. It's pretty great. Drawn Michigan State this year, I mean, that's, you know, it's a, they're right up the road. Yeah. So you've probably seen them a little bit more than you would have seen a hockey East school or something. Yep. So what have you seen on Michigan State? That they're a, a good team. And they play a lot like us. You know, um, I'm good friends with their coach, Adam Nightingale. I worked with him in Detroit. I think we have a lot of the same systems, a lot of the same styles. Um, some some uniquely talented players in there. The Lashunov kid on the back end, you know, he's probably going to go in the top three of the NHL draft next year. So it's a high, high end talent, but a younger player. Um, I, so I, I think our, it's a great, it's going to be a great matchup and a real exciting game of hockey. Just their goaltender, Trey Augustine. Uh, obviously, he's getting a lot of chatter out of late. Um, just what was what's the mindset to, to get a few pucks past him and, and what are you going to try to do to make it tough on him? Well, first of all, Trey Augustine's a star. And and I, I was lucky enough to have him in the World Junior. He's an outstanding young man. But, um, you know, pucks, he's not infallible. Pucks do get good by him. And so I think what we have to do is get bodies, make sure we have bodies in front, make sure we have traffic out in front of him, make it real hard on him um, as far as that area and close in goes. Coach, you have one of the most veteran teams in college hockey. How does that help you in an NCAA tournament like this? And guys that have played in this tournament, even guys that have joined your program, have had previous experience. They have. I think you know, with age and experience comes calm, and I like calm. I think calm succeeds when when perceived pressure is on. So I think our guys are are equipped to handle any situation, and and they'll stay calm in it. Having played in the rink already this year, is there any advent advantages being able to just kind of know know the rink a little bit? Well, we went down there, we played well, so we had some success in that building. That always a good feeling when you walk back in, and not, you know it's not all new. Um, I'm sure some of the setup will be, but uh, no, we played comfortable. We played good down there. We I think we're comfortable in that rink for sure. So you guys have had a week off, uh, kind of. <clears throat> How are you expecting that to affect your team, and, and how are you making sure that they set the tone when they hit the, the ice? Well, there's always positives and negatives to that, right? One is we got to get healthy. We were a little banged up near the end of the season, the last few series, and um, at a lot of positions, frankly, and, and most of those guys are back now. So that's a positive. And then, two, like you said, how do you keep that competitive edge? So we've tried to do that in practice by competitive small games, by big games, by, by scrimmage situations, trying to keep that edge as much as possible without actually playing games. Coach, that St. Louis Regional is stacked. What did you think when you saw the four teams that are competing for that regional title? Well, here's what we know. At this time of year, there are 16 great teams in the tournament, and that, that's for sure. So we're gonna have, you're going to have to beat two really good teams to advance. We know that for sure. Our, our, I think our, our, uh, you know, our division is loaded with, with NHL talent and, and great hockey, so that should just bring excitement to the whole region. I think it's already sold out. I think there are a lot of people looking forward to watching the hockey down there. It is also kind of a matchup between two of the better leagues, NCHC, Big Ten, in both games. I think both, uh, I think all parties are excited about these matchups, and uh, it should be great, great, great hockey. Talk to us about the uh, potential of an all-Michigan regional final with both Western and U of M make it past that first round. Yeah, it's pretty exciting, isn't it? Yeah, we didn't get to play Michigan this year, and we normally do. And, um, you know, Michigan State usually falls every other year on the, with the GLI. But, uh, you know, we're, we're looking forward to it. I think they're looking forward to it. I, I, like I said, I think there's a lot of excitement in these matchups um, from the outside, and I think there's a lot of excitement for these matchups from the inside as well. The outside has just the analysts have said, you know, if I was Michigan State, I wouldn't want to play Western Michigan in the first round. So what gives you confidence uh, about this particular team this year that you guys can make it out of that region? Well, what gives me confidence is the, is the process and the quality of play that we've had almost every game this year. I, I think, you know, you go on analytics and you go on these things. I'm not a huge stack guy, but I know that our expected goals 
is, is way over here on the good side and our expected goals against is way over here also on the good side for us. So when you, when you outplay a lot of your opponents for most of the year, that gives you a lot of confidence. When you played at that rink, did you notice anything <clears throat> peculiar about it or, or anything that might play to your advantage? I don't think so. Just a standard NHL uh, new rink. It's a really nice facility they put up down there, so it should be a good host of any. I've been hearing that uh, the game is already sold out. So how forward are you? Or how much are you looking forward to playing in front of all those Western fans, all those MSU fans? Well, what's exciting is some of these regionals aren't sold out, and especially we've gone out west, uh, excuse me, out east the last couple of years, and and you know the biggest games of the year, you want a great atmosphere, and so whether it's here in four or against you, you want the building full and you want energy in the building. I think we're going to have that down there, so we're looking forward to it. Uh, Luke, just kind of your opening thoughts about making the tournament for a third straight year. Obviously, never been done in program history, and just your excitement level for this team to, to be back in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you're really excited. Um, you know, three years in a row, it's not an easy thing to do, but um, we're excited to get back in the tournament. Obviously, playing Michigan State, it's going to be a, a really good battle and a really good game, so we're just excited for uh, for the game here on Friday. What did you think when you saw that regional with all those teams? It looks pretty stacked, huh? Yeah, it does. And, I mean, um, you know, we're excited that we're in that bracket. Uh, obviously, you want to play the best teams. And, uh, you know, it's three Michigan teams in one bracket. You know, it doesn't happen often, so we're really excited for it. Really a veteran team this year, obviously. When senior day, we had 15 guys. And, and just what's the, the confidence level you guys have going in, knowing you have a lot of guys that have played in an NCAA tournament already before? Yeah, I mean, having that experience, you know, from two years ago um, does help. And, you know, we got to lean on – the seniors and, and the, the class of 15 um, guys that have come back, you know, and so we just want to be there, you know, and uh, take it to Michigan State because, you know, we think we have a good opportunity to do something special here. Three years in a row, uh, you think this is kind of starting a precedent, maybe an expectation for the boys to start making it every season? Yeah, obviously. I mean, we want this to be a hockey school. And so, you know, being able to be a part of it for the last three years is something really special. Um, and, you know, hopefully we kind of set the standards for what we want this program to be. And, you know, um, in the future, you know, they just keep keep on going to the tournament. What do you know about Michigan State? Did you happen to watch the Big Ten Championship Saturday night? Uh, I didn't watch it, no. But obviously they're ranked uh, fourth in the country for a reason. So um, we know it's going to be a really big, really good battle. And, you know, we're really excited for it. Having a week off uh, before you go and see the Spartans. How are you expecting that to affect the team energy and, and how are you expecting them to set the tone when you hit the ice? Yeah, I mean, obviously we wanted to play um, last weekend and that was our goal. But, um, you know, having the weekend off uh, might not have been a bad thing because we got some guys that are banged up. So, you know, just getting that extra rest is, um, I think, in my opinion, was a good thing. Um, so I think we're going to be well rested and ready to go. Obviously, you guys were bounced from the tournament last year in the first round. Is that something that still lingers in your mind or, you know, use have you used that for motivation as far as, you know, coming back strong this year? Yeah, obviously, you know, um, that was not the result we wanted last year. Um, but, you know, it's in the past, but you got to look back and be like, hey, you know, we got to go there and, and make a statement, and, you know, win a hockey game and then obviously move on to Sunday. So, yeah. Game's already sold out. Obviously, you guys are used to playing in front of raucous crowds. Does that just kind of energize you guys more knowing that it's going to be a packed house with Western fans, North Dakota, everybody being there? Oh, yeah. I mean, we love playing in front of like large crowds and, you know, being on the road. I feel like we're a really good road team. Um, and so, you know, we're just excited to play in that. Obviously, it's not the biggest arena, but I'm sure it's going to be really packed and have a great atmosphere. We have uh, potential for a Michigan regional final, all Michigan. Uh, kind of what what are your thoughts on having that chance to, to really highlight Michigan hockey to the rest of the country? Yeah, I mean, it just goes to show, you know, uh, I'm sure people are excited to watch three Michigan teams in the same regional. Um, obviously, there's some rivalry between the, the three teams there, so um, we didn't play any of them this year. But, you know, we're excited to play Michigan State, and then whatever happens after that, you know, we'll try to take care of business there. Luke, there's a lot of talk about who has the better conference, Hockey East, NCHC, Big Ten. You get a chance now to show off the NCHC with yourself in North Dakota and two Big Ten teams. How do you like that challenge? Yeah, I mean, uh, we think we have the best conference in, in the league, but um, obviously you can only talk so much, right? you got to go out there and do it. 
Um, so we're just, we're, you know, we're excited to play a really good Big Ten team. And, um, yeah, we're just really excited for the matchup because it's going to be a really good game. This team might ha not have, like, the, I guess, the star power of, the, you know, Jason Pullen of last year, but there's a lot of production coming from a lot of different players. Is that something that you guys, um, you know, have as an asset? Do you, do you feel like that's a strength of this team, and how do you feel like it'll help you guys out? Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, I feel like our greatest strength on this team is our depth, and we have more than one or two guys who can score a lot of goals. Um, we have four lines who can produce, and, you know, just being able to have that goes to show you that, you know, any line can step up and make a play and change the game at any given time. So being able to have that is obviously, like, a really big confidence booster. You've obviously been in a lot of big moments. You have the, the overtime winner in, against Northeastern a few years ago. What's it just like for you personally playing in those big moments and being able to make big plays for your team? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, obviously, I love the big moments. I love scoring big goals. You know, that's what it's all about. That's why you play this game. Um, so, obviously, it was two years ago. It was a really special moment for me and, and obviously the program and all the guys on the team. But um, just having that experience, you know, I got to be the one to, to lead this team and make an impact in the, from the very start of the, the game here on Friday night. You guys might not get the same recognition, obviously, as a BC or a Denver, uh, but for the people that are the analysts that may doubt you guys, what, what do you have to say about, you know, just your feeling or your overall team feeling coming into the tournament? Yeah, I mean, I kind of like being the underdog here, you know. Um, obviously, there's probably not as much pressure on us, but, you know, we, we expect big things from you know this program and this team and we want to go out there and make a statement so um we're going to try to do that and you know take it to them because you know why not make a, a big run here in the tournament you know we got nothing else to lose so we're just excited for it